Hi, I'm August Bryce with TechWallets.com. This is a directional meter. We'll be using this in a minute. But today I want to talk about a smart meter. In fact, my smart meter. I'm renting a home and I had the ability to opt out before, but in this case, I don't. And so I wanted to show you why we use a smart meter cover. And actually I want to test our smart meter cover um, on this particular unit because I know they're getting stronger and stronger. And as you can see, look at that max reading, over a million. It's right there, that max reading is showing us the RF or radio frequencies that are coming from the smart meter. And here's the deal with the smart meter. It sends wireless signal that communicates with the grid and it has to be, in most cases, really powerful to get to the grid. So it's like having a Wi-Fi in your home and it pulses every five seconds to every five minutes. We're also gonna go inside behind this wall and take readings there. So many of you, and rightly so, are worried about what happens on the other side of the smart meter? Because it's always somewhere on your house. Fortunately here, we're in the garage, but some people could have a bed right here up against the other side of the smart meter. So I'm measuring to see what happens before we put the guard in and look, we have a Wi-Fi enabled sprinkler system at this rental house, but we've unplugged it. So we're not getting readings from there, but let's take a look at the highest reading. We're both measuring in microwatts per meter squared. Now, the thing about the H 38B is that it lets me find the exact location. And you can hear, it definitely has pinpointed. Now remember, the smart meter isn't firing constantly, but we hear when it does. So let's take a look at these readings and we're gonna compare them after we put the guard on. So we're at one, which is the highest reading here, and we're at 791 on the Safe and Sound Pro. Okay, so the reason that you want to put a cover on your smart meter is because you're contributing. The smart meter is contributing to the overall exposure, both to you and your neighbors, and just the environment in general. And it's not good for us because this kind of EMF has been associated with so many different health effects. In fact, there are thousands of really good peer-reviewed research studies that talk about it that you can find on our website, techwellness.com. Meanwhile, the number to beat here is probably easy to beat because it's a million, which is extraordinarily high. That's extreme, extreme. So I'm gonna reset it on this meter. And so now we're seeing 89, which is you know in the slight to moderate levels. Um, we're gonna look at that max because that's what we were measuring before. And let's give it about five minutes. Let's be fair and do exactly the same intake of radiation measurement as we did before. Okay, we've waited over five minutes and the max reading is just 3,570 microwatts per meter squared which is a fraction of one million. I mean, it's like, what, 99%, maybe less of what we were experiencing before we put on, basically, this is a Faraday cage. It's a Faraday cage for your smart meter. I don't love partial shielding, but this really isn't. Um, it's a Faraday cage with mesh so that some of that power, and obviously it's a lot of power density, can get out and communicate with the grid. Now let's go inside and see what's happening. Okay, so we're back in the garage with the smart meter cover on, and we're taking a reading to see if that's been reduced or if it went up. Right now it's at 313. I'm gonna roll back the tape and we're gonna put the comparison on now. So to wrap this up, if you have a smart meter, number one recommendation, opt out. Have the utility come, take it away, and give you a non wide wireless meter. Yes, it costs money. Yes, there's a monthly fee, but I think you and your family are worth it. Second recommendation, if you can't opt out, make sure that all of your living spaces are as far away from the smart meter as possible. And third, invest in a cover. It really does work. I'm August Bryce for techwellness.com. Subscribe, visit, um, just take a look at our blog. If there's anything that you'd like to know, we have questions at the end of each blog or comments, go ahead and make a comment and I'll be happy to answer. Be well.